Hey folks, Jeremiah Blueberry Glen Farms. So I wanted to do a video on why microgreens are so awesome. Um, not only as a business option, uh, if you're a farmer or you know something like that, and also why they're so awesome for you uh, in your own home. So I'll just go. I'll just cover you know <clears throat> why we started out. Our, and chose uh, uh, microgreens as a core of our business model. The big reason is we live in Alaska. This is great for cold, uh, it's a great op option for cold climates. Um, we have, um, let's just say, rough winters up here um, and we don't get a lot of sunlight where we are. Um, at times it can get down to, um, you know, four hours of daylight in, in the middle of December and in, and in through January. So, um, you know, even with a greenhouse, uh, if, even if it's heated, it's just not a whole lot of light and you're still going to have to use supplemental lighting, right? So there are things you can grow and people are doing things and, you know, that's awesome. You know, there's some root vegetables that are being grown in the high tunnels in the winter and, uh, you know, people are improvising. They're doing what they can, but for greens, it's really hard to do. Um, spinach, we hear spinach can do okay, but, uh, it's, it's, it's tough. And where I live... You know, it, it's it's a whole lot. I live in Homer. I live South Central Alaska. Um, you know, we're we're if you if you're familiar with Alaska, we're near Kodiak Island. Um, up north towards Fairbanks and even even further north, like um, Prudhoe Bay area, there there it's even worse. They they may not get any daylight for for a while. So um, as long as you have a building that's insulated and able to be kept warm and has electricity and you have access to water you can grow microgreens and so um, as our business model that's the big thing is is we want to have winter income so how are we going to do that bingo microgreens so um you know, we, we definitely do want to do a year-round thing. We want to have a high tunnel. We want to have an outdoor plot. Um, but uh, for, you know, steady income in the winter and that way we don't have to, to, to dip so hard into our summer earnings, we, you know, we need to have month-to-month year-round income. And we know sales are probably going to kick down. We are a touristy town. And uh, restaurants, uh, from what we've been... Uh, gathering from them is that you, absolutely they're going to need a whole lot more microgreens than they're going to need for their first orders now right now we're in the springtime we're just getting ready to head into our tourist season so and they're not making a whole lot of orders yet or very large orders so but they will be and um so yeah sales will drop down but we'll still have regular income now another great thing and part of our farm model is chickens and egg production so one of the biggest things you're going to find with chickens is that feeding them is it's not terrible but it does cost money how do you how do you create a system in which you can feed your chickens something year round look no further than microgreens um we when we harvest these flats there's usually a little bit of waste left over about that much stem or maybe a little less and then there's all the little seed holes that are left behind uh, chickens just they're like pigs with feathers man they'll 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 take care of it in no time roots and all and then they'll leave the dirt behind and they'll kick it around and you know um, what we picture happening once we get really going and into full production and especially when we have our outdoor um, green, uh, microgreen well our high tunnel microgreens uh, facility um, we expect to be able to build this this pile of compost and just by throwing this out there, throwing this out there, letting the chickens get into it, and they're gonna they're gonna drop their droppings, and then we can take that comp, you know, take bits of it as compost, lay it into our garden beds, let it, you know, cool off. I know chicken chicken poo is a little hot, so need some time to break down. Oh man! So right there, you've got this whole system where you're 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 growing your greens. You're feeding the leftovers of the chickens. They're producing eggs. They're producing droppings. They're producing manure that you can reuse. We're not going to use the manure stuff in here. This is going to be has to be more sterile uh, soil. 
but it can be used in the outdoor garden, which is, it's, it's perfect harmony, perfect balance. And of course, the leftover greens in that garden, of course, are going to go to the chickens. So um, we're definitely going to need to get more chickens just to keep up with the waste, uh, if that makes any sense. Uh, we've really got six, uh, six, eggs, six egg layers right now, and they, they're pretty much pulverizing everything we're giving them. So, I mean, they're, right now they're getting about, though they will be getting about 12 flats a week of waste. So um, I've seen them go through six flats in no time. So I don't think it's going to be that big of an issue for, for us. But we're going to need, like I said, we're going to be more chickens. And we definitely plan on getting uh, another uh, group, you know, group of chickens this, uh, this summer. So um, now microgreens for you and why are they, why would you want to buy them or why would you want to grow them? First of all, they taste just like their mature counterparts. Like, I was so surprised when I started growing microgreens because I was like, man, that tastes just like that. You wouldn't think that the green, like a radish green, would taste just like a radish. You'd be thinking, oh, me, it, if to taste like a radish, it's, you've got to taste a radish, right? No, the green tastes has the same flavor. Same thing goes for pretty much all of these beets. Beets taste like beets. It's wild, man. Um, and so as far as health benefits, okay, so, oh, I'll just... I'll just get, you know, my greens at the farmer's market. I'll get full-grown arugula. It's a lot cheaper, right? Yeah, you're right. Okay, so it's a lot cheaper, but you're not going to be able to do that in the wintertime, for one. Number two, let's say you want to make a mix-and-match salad, right? Or you want to top something on your salad. This is a perfect option for it. So, yeah, go ahead. Get some arugula. Get some salad. You know, some, some iceberg or whatever lettuce you want to do. Uh, romaine. Uh, you know, whatever you want to do, but you can add some of this to it. Now, as far as health-wise, the microgreens, studies have shown, and I, I'm not a scientist, I'm, I'm, I'm just a guy that thinks maybe, I don't know. I think that they, they say that microgreens have more antioxidants and more vitamins than their mature counterparts. And when I think about that, what I think is, you know, what comes to mind is hemp seed. Hemp seed is packed with nutritious value. Uh, seeds in, in whole are, you know, there's chia seeds. There's all kinds of seeds going out there in the market that are just, there's huge health benefits with them. Uh, what that it tells me is that in order for these guys to germinate and to sprout, that's, that takes a lot of work, right? And so they need, a, they need that pack full of energy to get going, to build plant fiber and to grow right so as they get older they're going to start needing uh, nu nutrient from the soil right but right away like when there's sprouts it makes sense to me it's like all those nutrients instead of spreading out through the whole plant they're just packed right there so I don't know I'm not a, I'm not a scientist but or but I think that it makes sense that they would be more vitamins and uh, antioxidants in them so for our business model again yeah we chose to go with it because we could go we could get year-round income from it but for someone that wants to grow them themselves that that kind of has a green someone that has a green thumb that wants to always have their own fresh greens just get yourself a light get a rack set up i would recommend a t5 at least a two lamp t5 i'm using a four lamp just because i need to get these guys out of my garden as quickly as possible you know i gotta keep things moving i want this shelf clear in two weeks sold gone right so otherwise I don't make money um, but anyways yes back to that grow your own greens make sure to, to, to water them keep light on them um, you know spread your seeds out really evenly and you're gonna go through a lot of seed I will say um, you know I'll just this arugula right here is about 10 grams of seed so you're, you're not gonna want to buy those packs of seeds from the store that are intended for like an outdoor gardener or a hobby gardener you're going to want to buy specific microgreen seeds and you can usually get them at your garden supply store or you can ask for them specifically and they may be able to ship them in or get them in for you so um, and usually when you get those type of seeds they're going to come in you know a specific type of packaging um, these guys right here see there's our arugula 
This is a uh, three ounce container, I believe. So, yeah, three ounce container right here. So three ounces at, you know, 12 grams a piece. That's 12 grams to, so you're gonna get about two, about six flats out of that. So, and they'll be ready in two weeks. Maybe three, you can grow them a little bit longer too and you can pick and cut as you go and keep it going. So, um, yeah, that's why microgreens are so awesome and I'm, I'm just so, excited about everybody's in my community you know this is our new business uh, everybody's excited about the greens um, we're going to our first market on Saturday um, we've been giving out samples we've sold a little bit uh, to friends and such so um, things are looking really up for us and we're just really excited so guys subscribe to this video if you guys want future updates if you guys want to see our farm progress and as we go we're gonna be building out a lot this summer. Um, there's a lot of snow on the ground right now, so I can't get out there to do anything till that's gone. But I tell you what, it's gonna be a busy year. Uh, garden spaces are going in. There's gonna be some uh, chicken coops gonna get built uh, for our meat birds. And our run is gonna be, be expanded on our egg layers. We're also gonna get some chicks, so you'll be able to see our chicks growing up. Um, a lot of fun stuff in this channel. Um, if you guys like the farm lifestyle, just yeah, subscribe to the video and uh, we'll have more updates for you guys later. Thanks for, thanks for watching.